Good morning and welcome to the At Home with Roby show. I'm Ashley Davis along with Trent Haston, president and CEO of the Roby family of companies. We're your hosts. Thanks for spending your Sunday morning with us. Whether you're in the car or on the couch, you're always at home with Roby. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's Andrew R O B Y. Com. Trent, good morning. It's another Sunday morning. We're here. We've got an incredible show. We're going international today, my friend. A lot of international businesses in Charlotte. We're going to talk about the diversity of the Charlotte market. Later on, we're going to be joined by Adam Stevens. He's with the British International School of Charlotte. If you've not heard of them or not familiar with them, stay with us. You'll want to learn everything about what they're doing, not just in the international, international education field, but also just international relocation, people moving here and making Charlotte their home. Speaking of that, We've got a good friend with us today, Trent. He brought in a special gift. It's my friend Paul McConaughey from Rush Espresso. I know every week I come in here, I've got a cup with me, and you talk about that coffee. You've been out there with me. It's a great spot, right? No, yeah, coming from a – I think I drink Folgers. No. <laughs> uh, the Paul, Rush, Paul just walked out of the studio. Uh, Rush Espresso is, is is a great great place. Since, since we have the international theme today, I've been working on my accent. I hope all y'all can tell. Uh, about seven days in, I hope I sound European, but I did go, I studied abroad when I was in college, uh, and I'm looking over at Paul, and I, I figured out, I, there was a casino nearby, and I hung out at a casino a little bit, I was in college, I don't do stuff <laughs> like that anymore, and uh, I got to know a lot of people in the casino, and they, they we became friends, they, they all, I would ask them where I was from, and they all would name places in Europe that they thought I was from. And it's pretty cool that they see a dialect difference in Europe. And then I said, no. So Paul's from the south, uh, southern Australia, right? Is well, it? not south Australia, but <laughs> southern hemisphere. Southern hemisphere. Another thing that's pretty funny is uh, my wife and I went on a on a international cruise for our honeymoon. And I'm the guy. I like to get in the hot tub and hang out, play with the kids. This is before we had kids, obviously. And I would hang out in the hot tub with the kids, and you would have kids from India, Japan, South America, South Africa, you know, Africa, Europe. And they'd all hear me talk. I'd say a couple of things and comment to them. And, and they could guess where I was from. by the. They, it would always be either Texas, Nashville, or the Carolinas. And it would be in Alabama. It'd be one of the four, and it was amazing. This kid from India knows he's seven year old and knows where I'm from. Unbelievable. That's pretty funny. So you moved here what six, seven years ago? Uh, five years ago. Five Christmas. years ago. Yeah. Five years ago at Christmas, and you you opened the store right after that. Yeah, so. we opened in February uh, 2011. We opened the cafe. So what's that like? You you grew up obviously in Australia. You, your wife is American, Correct. and when you ended your career in Australia, you decided I'm gonna I'm gonna retire and I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the Carolinas with my wife. What's that move like for people that have never done something like that? Well, you know, we there was we weren't limited to where we could move in America. And uh, when my wife had planted the seed and we were in Australia, you know, in all honesty, we used Google every day. And uh, we would look at things that were important to us. And we would so we would look at, you know, socioeconomic breakdowns, um, you know, being 2010, we were still in the global financial crisis, which, you know, fortunately didn't hit Australia. We were looking at, at cities that we thought had great resilience, you know, financial resilience. Right. Um, and, you know, we were also looking at, at things like climate, mean, mean incomes. Uh, I do a lot of sports. I was looking for somewhere where I could be outside at least nine months of the year. Uh, my, my darling wife's from Pennsylvania, so that was never going to be an <laughs> option for us, uh, even though she did try for a, a short time. Uh, but we kept, you know, Googling all these points that were really important to us, especially having two children at the time, age 10 and 5. And Charlotte, North Carolina kept coming up in the top three on everything that we would search. Yeah. And uh, I remember saying to my wife, have you ever been to this Charlotte? Have you ever been to Charlotte? <laughs> and she'd said, no, no. So honestly, we were 90% sure that, that this was where we were going to end up. But when we landed on the 5th of December, 2010, I bought a, a car two days later and I drove down here. And uh, I, I had like four days down here. I was looking at some commercial real estate places that we could put a, a cafe that we wanted to open. And and uh, when I went home, my wife said to me, what was it like? And, and I actually, I remember saying to her, you know what? It was amazing. And she said, what was amazing about it? And I couldn't, I couldn't get the words out as to what about Charlotte was amazing. And this went on for a week. So I drove down here again the next yeah. week. And I remember I brought my daughter with me. And uh, as I come down 77 and I, I went from Virginia into North Carolina, it, it hit me. I said, this is possibly the cleanest, most well-maintained city I've ever seen. Really? 
and and that that was my that was my first impression and it was the absence of of the, the, the all the trash and the weeds and things like that that you see when you're driving in and out of cities right that's why I couldn't come up with the words for it and then you know we were we were heavily looking in South Charlotte so you know you got just gorgeous houses unbelievable manicured you know sidewalks and and hedges and homes and things like that and uh, it it just cemented to me that this was going to be a fantastic place right. to bring my kids. Like any city that has the infrastructure to look after it the way it does is everything that we thought it would be. Paul, I just got chill bumps about I'll four different you, times while you were saying that. I'm a huge Charlotte advocate, obviously. Uh, I think it's great. I just want to reiterate, I was talking about this last week. Last week we did the uh, home tour, had the ladies from yep. the Symphony, Symphony Guild, Guild on. And, and, and I reiterate, we do this show based on allies, business ideas, charities that we like. Ash is a big fan uh, of your store. He's taken me there a couple times because that's what we believe in. That's what we do. We've taken clients there a couple times. I've taken a couple of our employees there. But that's the backdrop of our show. And then we learn stuff from each other. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we entertain the, the community in Charlotte and the Southeast on, on Sunday morning. And, so. and that is really it, what's, what I find interesting about that is we're going to talk more about international diversity later in the show, but when you talk to people that moved here from, from West Virginia, New York City, they say the same thing that you just said coming from Australia. So that's, that's ne- neat to see that people have the same mentality when they're moving to Charlotte. Yeah. So it's unbelievable. Yeah. You know, the other thing is that this, this city, I mean, to find someone that was born and bred in Charlotte, yeah. Is almost as unique as finding an Australian, you know. So, yeah. so that was they a, sound like this. Well, you got your guy right here. This is your <laughs> man right here. All right, we, we got to get to a break. Right. It's Rush Espresso, Ballantine, and and Brevard Court Uptown. Right. That's right. What's the website? Uh, www.rushespressocafe.com. Good deal. All right, Trent. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to continue the conversation around international living with the British International School of Charlotte. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 